last half of the best of 2015, so let's get this over with. Inside Out, the Pixar film that came out this year, was excellent. He had these emotions inside Riley's head, portrayed by Amy Poehler, Bill Hader, Louis Black as anger, and I forget who played disgust and sadness, but everybody in this movie does a great job. The whole part about joy and sadness trying to get along and trying to get back to the main headquarters where the other three emotions are it is really good and it was just such a fantastic film. Number nine is Creed. This movie was a knockout and Michael B. Jordan was excellent in this film. Sylvester Stallone was fantastic portraying Rocky in the Mickey role as the trainer. Ryan Coogler's direction was fantastic and this was just a really good movie. Did a great job revamping the Rocky franchise and now handing it down to Adonis Creed, Apollo Creed's son. This is great and I can't wait to see what the Creed franchise will now bring us. <laughs> Number eight is Sakaro, starring Emily Blunt, Benicio Del Toro, Joss Brolin. This movie was a really good, really dark, suspenseful cop film, and I really liked this movie. Directed by the same guy that did Prisoners and Enemy. This movie was really excellent, and everybody does a really good job in this film. Especially Benicio Del Toro. He's really phenomenal in this movie. Number seven is Bridge of Spies. Steven Spielberg, Tom Hanks, Mark Rylance as the Soviet spy in this movie. This was such a fantastic film. I think Tom Hanks will probably get Best Actor nomination or Eddie Redmayne for Danish Girl. But this was a really, really good movie and Tom Hanks knocks this one out of the park as well as Mark Rylance as the Soviet spy and this movie does a really good job portraying the 1950s. Steven Spielberg's direction is phenomenal and it's just such an amazing movie. Mission Impossible 5, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. This movie was fantastic. It's my number six on the list. Tom Cruise, he may be getting up there as far as age is concerned, but he's still a wonderful actor and his stunt work is awesome. This is probably one of my favorite Mission Impossibles from the franchise and Simon Pegg was really good. Rebecca Ferguson as the leading lady, she was awesome. This was just such a great movie. Number five, The Martian. Matt Damon and Ridley Scott's direction was awesome. Matt Damon was great as the astronaut. The cinematography with Mars was beautiful. Ridley Scott's direction was great and this was just such a good movie. I really did like this one. Very much a cross between Castaway and Apollo 13. It's just such a fantastic movie. Number four is Quentin Tarantino's film, The Hateful Eight, which is such an amazing movie. It just came out in this area, and definitely check this one out. It, Kurt Russell, Samuel L. Jackson, Jennifer Jason Lee, Tim Roth, Damian Bircher. Everybody does a really good job with this film. The whodunit aspect of this movie was really good and everything. Number three, Mad Max Fury Road. Oh wow, what a great way to revamp up the Mad Max franchise. Tom Hardy is excellent as Mad Max. Charlie Theron as Furioso is great. The villain Immortan Joe being portrayed by the same actor that played the villain in the first Mad Max was really good. And it was just a really fun car chase film. I really like this movie. The special effects are fantastic. When you see it in 3D as well, I've seen it in both 2D and 3D, saw it five times at the theater, and it's just really an excellent movie. Number two, this is probably my favorite film for the Oscar nominees on, the, on my list here. It's The Room. This is such an amazing movie. Not Tommy Wiseau's Room, but this room stars Brie Larson and a very good child actor named Jacob Tremley. 
as William Aids may see in the movie Joan Allen. This was such an amazing movie. Brie Larson playing this mother and her five-year-old son are kidnapped and they have been spending months of their lives in this room for about five years. This boy has been in, stuck in the room for his whole life and when he finally gets out, seeing the world for the first time and seeing the world through his eyes is so awesome. Brie Larson is fantastic in this movie. The boy does the best child performance since Quinze Wallace's performance from Beast of the Southern Wild. And this was just such an amazing movie. And number one, The Force is strong with this one. Star Wars, The Force Awakens. I saw this movie three times. I love it every time I see it more and more. It is such an amazing movie. I don't care about the fact that this movie retreads New Hope. It is still an amazing film. The three new actors, Daisy Ridley, John Boyega, and Oscar Isaac are fantastic in this film. Adam Driver is great as the villain. I don't care about the fact that he throws tantrums in the movie. That actually makes him a more interesting character. The fact that he's not in tune with the dark side as much as Darth Vader was. <laughs> That's one of the whole points of why he does the tantrums which is one of the things that a lot of people who didn't like the movie did not seem to understand. And this was just such a fantastic movie. A little bit as to why Ray, Daisy Ridley's character, takes on the Force so darn quickly. My opinion on that is obviously she was one of Luke's students when she was a child and all her memories of Force training was pushed to her subconscious by Luke who is probably her father, as I've said before, is um, talking spoilers, so it's very likely that Rey is Luke Skywalker's daughter, and this was just such a fantastic movie. Definitely check this movie out. Did a great job revamping the Star Wars franchise. I can't wait to see what Ryan Johnson does with Episode Eight and Garrett Edwards does with the spin-off movie that's coming out this year. Star Wars Rogue One Episode 8 is coming out in 2017 and <laughs> I'm very anxious for both of those movies. I can't wait to see what is done with those films and this movie was just really good and I can't wait to see this movie again. Definitely check out all these films and that is it for my best list of 2015. Now on for 2016.